I'm gonna show you how to get farm strength and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so what is farm strength and who has it? Obviously, farmers typically are gonna have it. I like to think about farm strength as learning how to handle unstable situations. So walking with specific odd objects, learning how to grapple animals. So growing up before the age of 12 to 14, your body essentially is preparing for the rest of its life. So whatever you're doing from the age of one until 12 to 14, your body thinks that's what it's preparing for, for eternity until you pass away. So your body is adapting and putting into action all of these mechanisms that it's going to need for survival. So if we have kids that grow up as hard laborers or kids that grow up on farms and they're adapting to carrying different odd objects, doing different things, having strength over very long periods of time, this will lead to long-term development. So we're gonna give you four of those key exercises that you can use to increase your farm strength. So now we're carrying the hay bales up to the geese and the chickens so that we can get cleaner eggs and our geese can have a nice sustained environment to thrive in. And this is just actually a great example of farmers carry, odd object carry, and this stuff also plays into nutrition. Farm strength, I think, is key. Uh, nutrition is a key factor. You know, if your kids grow up on a farm, they're still gonna eat ice cream, they're still gonna eat junk food, but they're also learning, you know, where their food comes from, and they're a little bit more active with their food. One of those key exercises is actually throwing hay bales. So, my geese piss me off. I don't mean to throw hay bales at them, but if I hit them, it's not that big of a deal. If we think about throwing hay bales, you're gonna get rotational strength, you're gonna get grip work, you're gonna get a bigger back. There's a story of Brock Lesnar, never lifted weights until he got to Minnesota, until he was in college. All he did growing up was farm hay, he was a dairy farmer as well, and so he was doing a lot of odd object things, and he got to the point where he could power clean something like 350 pounds out of nowhere, because of the back strength that he developed from throwing hay bales all the time. So do this in the summertime. Something that you could do if you don't have access to hay bales is just throwing sandbags, just doing power cleans, throwing medicine balls, anything along those lines is gonna help you develop that farm strength. So a quick aside, I'm actually a professional hay bale champion. I won a hay bale toss at a local fair. There is a specific technique that we want. We wanna go double over, okay? So hand over, hand over here, and then you almost pull and push at the same time. So you're gonna have that on your hip, pull and push at the exact same time. So you learn how to use your hips, you learn how to use your trunk and your shoulders all together, and that helps you execute a better hay bale toss. Okay, so one of the next exercises is gonna be carrying feed. Okay, especially if we're talking about poultry feed. Now, I did a bad job preparing. Typically we'll have 80 pound bags of feed that we have to carry with like a zercher position. This is gonna light up your biceps. It's gonna light up your upper back. It's gonna light up your trunk and you have to walk up hills. This is at my farm here. So my kids will typically take care of this stuff. So they gotta push it in a wheelbarrow, which is also challenging. But these are all movements that you can do over long periods of time. So helping with your strength endurance and helping with your posture. Also, when you put it in here, then you have to figure out how to untie it and then you gotta start to feed your animals. So I like doing these things. You could do this with a farmer's walk. You could do this with an actual zercher carry. You could do this carrying 100 pound medicine balls if you want. Do it over a five to seven minute time frame. Your biceps will be destroyed and your upper back, but it's a really, really good movement that you can use that's an odd object and it's gonna help you develop that farm strength while still taking care of the animals. Okay, so this is our firewood. We actually had firewood stacked behind the cameraman all around the corner and all around here that we've cleaned up. This is all stuff that I split during COVID. Uh, and we gotta think about it. If we're splitting firewood, you know, for us, we use a log splitter because we go through about seven cords a year. So to pick it up, put them on there, the logs, your back gets lit up, your abs get lit up, the wheels are heavy, your grip gets shot. But then also when we're stacking this, you'll see, so if I'm stacking, I have to balance. Now it's easier for me because I'm a little bit heavier, but if my kids are doing this, they have to push this. They're a little bit shorter, so they're squeezing their traps to create a little bit more stability. And that helps them with their grip, 
helps them with their shoulder stability. It even helps them, you know, essentially with their dynamic trunk control. So a lot of this comes into with farmers is that if you're burning firewood, your grip strength's gonna improve, your shoulder strength's gonna improve, and you're just gonna lead to becoming a little bit more efficient and coordinated. If this is something that you wanna do, you could get a wheelbarrow, you could fill it with sand, you could fill it with rocks, you could fill it with off-weighted logs. That's gonna to lead to good carries. You could do sled work, and that's gonna improve your overall farm strength. Before we continue to show you farm strength, I'm gonna recommend a key supplement to help you recover from that farm-based training. That first key supplement is gonna be grass-fed whey protein. I recommend earth-fed muscles whey protein that you can get at earthfedmuscle.com. And along with that is going to be their 40 winks. This is gonna improve your sleep every single day. That's gonna put you in a better mood and you're gonna be able to handle that stress a lot easier. Now, back to the video. Another key aspect is patience. Filling up your buckets, getting ready, you know, planning, planning ahead, like how you're gonna get your work done. That's something too that a lot of people don't think about is you know, just carrying hay bales around or carrying your feed. You actually start to think about when you're 10, 11, 12 years old, you're like, all right, I don't really wanna do this, but my dad's gonna bitch me if I don't do it. How can I do this as efficiently as possible with time and energy so I'm not extremely tired. And you start to think about that stuff while you're doing things like filling up water buckets, because now you're just standing here, you know, you hear a great horned owl and you hear the, the blue jays and all that stuff. You start to be a little more aware of what's going on around you and you get more aware of your thought process. So that's like another thing that I feel like farm kids are always just a little bit more, they're a little bit more in touch with their time and they're not necessarily, I'm not saying time management, but I'm saying like time as far as uh, their thought process and and what goes into all their efforts right buttercup Meow. okay so finally first of all let's just take note of how beautiful that firewood looks stacked there even marked november 21 looking good that's all locusts split up anyway so i have water buckets okay and what's interesting is this one's lighter than this one so now i have to balance that a little bit better but what happens is if i'm taking this up to the chickens or the geese my grip's going to get blown up my traps are going to get lit up and i'm going to get a little bit of strength endurance and so walking uphill walking into trees i think the other thing that farm kids are very successful with is there's always a, an end point they know like right now i know my goal is to get this water to the geese. So they know, all right, I can just push myself and get it done. They, they have that end point and it might be an extremely far distant uh, end point, but they start to set that up as like these specific goals. And so then when they're doing that mentally in the sporting world, they see the end point to their overall challenge. Now getting back to these water buckets, I can tell you right now, my rhomboids, my grip, traps, this is creating farm strength. You know, if you're gonna be a wrestler, combat athlete, football player, uh, even field hockey, you're growing up doing these things, you're carrying unstable things. How could you do this in a gym? You can use a water bag. You can use buckets and hold them at minutes at length. You could use a slosh pipe. Anything like that is going to help you become a little bit more coordinated, a little more stable. And honestly, a lot of this stuff is what makes farm kids so durable so that they can prevent injuries later on in their life. Okay, this is a little bonus exercise. This is gonna be an agility focused exercise. This is gonna be chasing geese. Geese, first of all, are absurdly quick. On top of that, when you scrap with a goose, you feel like they're extremely strong. It's like you're dealing with a 150 pound person. It's similar to, we, we raise pigs in here out on pasture, and when you're dealing with a pig, it's the same thing. You might have a 150 pound pig, but it feels as though it's a 400 pound person. So when you're training your agility, or when you're training grappling, and you're dealing with catching a pig or catching a goose, which I'm about to try to do, there's a lot of different things that go into it that you're not really ready for, but you have to be much more stable and you learn those skills of co-contractions. You learn those reflexive movements because you have to. It's essentially a survival instinct. Can I grab at least one of these geese? I don't know because I don't want to get bit by one, but I'm going to try and do it just for the video. 
Let's see, which one should I grab? The funny thing is, is like, the one I don't grab is gonna come after me. Pongo, you wanna help me? Maybe if I get them into their little shed. Oh, I got them split. This is where I wanted crackers. I wanted crackers to stay away over there. I'm, I, crackers is scaring the shit out of me. Where's Trevor when I need him? <laughs> so, this is a great example of one, they're extremely agile. Chickens are a lot easier to catch. But two, because they're so nasty, they just have like this added fear level of like, their claws, you don't want to deal with them. I can be a little bit of a baby. And that's a big problem with geese in general. They're such pain in the asses. That was a sad attempt of me being too scared to get nipped by one of them. This is a massive fail. I was actually just gonna start talking about when I was running, so I'm wearing boots, okay? Even when you plant in here, like this is like uneven ground, you're wearing boots, so your dexterity is not that good. But what that does for agility is now your body's more aware from peripheral self-organization, like how to deal with different ground, different landscapes. And it does carry over really well to sports performance. <laughs> okay, so here's my replacement for my goose catch. This is our, uh, this is Pikachu. And Pikachu actually has a thumb, ironically. One of Hemingway's cats. Geese one, Dane zero. Okay, so you learned about farm strength. You learned about all the crazy things you can do, carrying hay bales, splitting, and carrying firewood, carrying water, carrying bags of feed, and failing miserably at catching geese, because they're assholes. So what I recommend is using all those alternative exercises that we gave you, and if you need help, you wanna gain mass, you wanna gain size, you wanna try and embrace that farm strength, click on the link down below. You can pick up our ghost face program or our mass builder program to help you get that farm strength and get a little bit bigger traps. Until next time, freaks, make sure that you always cultivate your power. Peace.